Steven, your thoughts on uh, this matchup tonight and uh, some of the things you're going to have to do at a high level? Uh, definitely transition. Seemed like to push it a lot. Uh, and it's pretty much just staying solid on our defense, uh, just to be vague about it, to be honest. Um, but yeah, this team's really good, man. They, they move the ball really well. Um, and they play together as a team really well. So, yeah, got to be locked in, you know. Mm. Steven, do you have an autobiography? I don't know. Is that what you heard? There's a, there's a thing going around Twitter, and then I was told that you had one. Yes, there's I do. There's a book coming out about you. Yeah, I know I've been Matt, working on Matt, a book. Madeline Chapman? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell I us do. a little bit about it? Seems like you've forgotten about the process. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's about myself. So. That's pretty much it, mate. <laughs> Just a book about myself. <laughs> what, what, what inspired you to put together a book? I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to do one on myself. So. I didn't actually want to do it. But someone told me it should be a good idea and they'll be interested. So I was like, okay. Whatever, bro. Have you, have you written before? No. No. I didn't write it. I got ghostwriting at Madeline Chapman, so yeah. I can barely read, mate. <laughs> I think I'm gonna write a book. <laughs> Jesus. Steven, just coming off of the, the game in Golden State, what were some of the biggest, I guess, touch points today as, as you guys got back together? Touch points from well, what? What did we learn? Coaching staff and, and maybe messages from what you could learn from from that road trip in California. Uh, from the road trip, it was, I mean, we, we did a lot of good things, did a lot of bad things. Um, but I guess, yeah, I mean, they're, they're their own individual games, if that makes sense. They're, I mean, there was, there was a little bit that we could learn as a team, in terms of like executing different stuff and the plays and whatnot. But, um, yeah, um, other than that, it's just... Because we just have to focus on our stuff. It ain't so much about the other team. It's just what we have to focus on uh, as a team. And so that's what we got to do tonight. Yeah, if that makes sense. Steven, that a, words are hard. Steven, there's a uh, play with Zaza the other night that Russell's upset about. Um, yeah. There was people talking about it yesterday. And some of the things people say a lot is, well, now you have to retaliate. Or Steven Adams has to do something the next time they play the Warriors. How, how do you view those kinds of plays and that, that sort of thing? How do I view the Zaza play? Yeah, like, do, do you feel like there's some need now because there's a play that, that upsets one of your guys that you have to do something the next time you play a team? No, no, not at all. Not at all. you, you got to focus on the game because uh, that's why you're up there. Uh, anything like that that gets personal like that, it's you doubt outside of that. Um, reasons for that is that you put the rest of the team at, um, team at risk. You know, it's, it's uh, just one of those things. So, but yeah. So, but that yeah. Point a moment ago, a question about Nick about the road trip. Yeah. As analysts, we compartmentalize your season a lot. Prior to Christmas break, before the All Star break, after the All Star break, road trip. Are you just doing one game at a time? Yeah, doing one game at a time. No, I stuck on your stuck on your word there, man. It's one hell of a scrabble school. Jesus. Compartmentalize or whatever. Good on you. Um, yes, I'm just taking it game by game uh, because. That's all you can do, honestly. Honestly, you can't, can't look ahead. Because then you, you'll put un unnecessary pressure, you're worried about the wrong stuff. All that sort of stuff falls into it. So taking it game by game and just working on the small things, you know, um, being in the moment, as they say. Yeah. Anybody else? Thanks, Stevie. Thanks, Steve.